now locked into a special episode where we are highlighting women in music. And I am the girl, Camille Adrian. And today I have a very special guest with me, Ms. Vero G. How are you today? I'm oh, doing great. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. Oh, no problem. You're welcome. Let's start out with you introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about you. Sure, definitely. Uh, first and foremost, I, I guess I'm just honored to be here, guys, with your presence and all that sorts. Uh, I am an entrepreneur, I am an artist, uh, I'm an actress, full, a plus size model. Uh, I do a little bit here and there I can. <laughs> I am a self, sure, a self published author as well. Uh, you know, I just, I feel like just always tapping into new things, as they say. But uh, also, I'm also TV and radio personality for DTF Radio, uh, which is every Wednesdays at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern time, guys, in uh, New York City. So, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. It's called Vero G Spotlight Radio Show. And you guys are more than welcome to be a part of it. If you'd like to, I would love that. Oh. And uh, thank you, thank you. And uh, just actually, real quickly, cheap plug I have to add in here. Uh, I also have a magazine a company, which is called Vero G Spotlight Magazine. And just got today's issue today in the mail. Uh, this is August issue, actually, as we speak. And we got an upcoming artist called by the name of Sony Carnegie. And he's on the cover of this issue. So definitely, guys, uh, you guys can support that if you can at www.madcloud.com under Road G Spotlight Magazine. And uh, yeah, a lot of things I'm working on. I have to add one more thing. Check out my Victory album. <laughs> yes, uh, it just came out last year. And actually, I have to add in here on that. I uh, just got this year, I won the LDM Award Show for Latin Artist of the Year. Uh, here is the, here's the official award, guys. Uh, I did the song with Chiba Link called Come With Me, Vente Conmigo. And we got the award, guys. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so exciting. You have, like, so much going on. Oh, my gosh. How do you Thank keep you up with yourself? I, I, you know what is It's funny. Someone tells me, when do you have time to sleep? I say, I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> when is the take a day off, you know? <laughs> I get it. Oh, my gosh. I get it. Okay, so one thing that intrigued me, you said you are an author. Yes, ma'am. So what type of books have you published? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I've I, I done uh, uh, several. Some of them are personalized books, of course. Uh, some are just like poetry books. It's a combination of different types, you could say. Overall, it's just pu publications of things I went through my journey as an artist. Uh, another one called Trials and Tribulations. It's a very personalized book. It's autobiography I do it myself. And it's also about things I've encountered. Uh, briefly, I'll talk more about that. It's gone. These are as being I'm a domestic violence survivor mm -hmm. um, and being a, a victim as well, uh, and also being in the foster care system. So, these obstacles I have encountered in my past had made me now a better person and be more, more than ever humble and appreciate the things that I, that I do come to my way of blessings or for anyone of that nature. And I feel like this is that my testimony to put out there for the world to let people be inspired to never give up on their dreams. I love it. That is so inspiring. I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. Okay. So that ties into you being a plus size model. Like where yes. that, that inner self-esteem, self-confidence, where did that come from? Yeah. So actually, um, many years ago, I, I um, after, you know, going to the Mr. Violence, you know, you, that kind of brings down your self-esteem and your confidence and everything. So I started building that up eventually going to school and college and you know, just gaining new friends and hearing that sorts. And eventually one day a friend of mine just took pictures of me with their phone. They were like, you know, you got something about you like photogenic. So I was like, okay, maybe we'll just take something out of it as a hobby. So uh, from that point on, I started going to like, you know, here and there, I used to go to on the gigs here, uh, their um, casting calls, what do you want to call it? Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I started just loving it. It was just like a, a bug for me, as they say. And from that point on, like it's, it's, it's kind of like, to put it this way, it's kind of like, great because i got to see more out there as a plus size model when there are opportunities out there for plus size models but it's unfortunate it's kind of like you know what i'm going with this it's kind of like they're kind of more sketchier still because of the situation where they're more of a certain size they prefer mm -hmm. but otherwise i feel like you know um, i'm honored to represent a modern day uh, latina or a woman of color i mean this is we're all created a different way so i felt like you know going down the wrong way working on my depending what outfit I had of the day, mm -hmm. strut it and, and be proud of who I am. Yeah. Love it. Oh my gosh. I love Thank that. you. <laughs> Thank have you. you ever been to Full Figure Fashion Week out there in New York? I have. I have. I've been to a few uh, New York Fashion Weeks um, a couple of times, actually a couple of years back. 
in uh, September, of course. And um, it, it, was, it was a great experience. You get to meet all types of people. And it's like, a, a, I know it's in New York City. Everything's like a rush and go. So you have to be on top. Like, if, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I produced a couple fashion shows, so I know. And shout oh. out to Develop Full Figure Fashion Week. Shout out. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Super. Okay. And what else? You have so much going on. You're also a screenwriter. So yes. Tell me about that. Definitely. So um, a lot of people don't know that, That's, which is just funny. Um, I done the time I was going to school that time frame, like in college years and that um, I wasn't really working at the time. So I said, you know, let me let me get my mind going and being creative and stuff like that. So I started just writing down some pages here and there about different ideas I had in mind. Mm-hmm. And um, from that point on, after five scripts later, um, I written uh, five you know, five scripts, and they're mostly movie-based movie scripts, and they're right now is still sitting in my luggage. <laughs> okay, okay. But I, yeah, but I did at uh, one time this uh, one actually called All for One. I a couple of years back actually had were in, was in the, uh, the post-production, not pre-production, forgive me, um, getting meeting going, conferences with people, and getting casting and all that sorts to get the project going. Mm-hmm. It didn't work out, but I always say this is time for everything. So. In due time, I, I would like all my projects to be released out there. Hopefully, if anybody would like to be interested in my idea for a script and uh, get everything properly done, pop it and everything else, and sell a script. Why not? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank have you me. ever like entered or thought of entering into any film festivals? Yeah, actually, it's funny you say that. Um, besides doing the, uh, I want to skip that to that, but. Before doing that, actually, I had done two documentaries uh, this last year and this way, this year as well. And the first one's called "Through Their Eyes: The Mask Behind the Mask." Talks about the mess, domestic violence. And a big shout out to my management, Jim Pine Media, and uh, Sheena Gordine, who was a part of that uh, project we did together. And it talks about with victims um, with their own voice and kind of telling their story to side. And um, it was amazing. It's very impactful. We actually did submit to some film festivals. I'm uh, still waiting, but um, we did submit it to Be Free, and we got the Be Free Award for that. It's over there. It's, it's standing over there. <laughs> but I did get it for this year, so I'm, I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, we had another documentary. It's actually based on the autobiography of mine, Sports Trials and Tribulations. Mm-hmm. And you guys could check both of them out, actually, on my YouTube channel under Vero G Spotlight TV Network. And it's very impactful. It talks more in depth into what I want through my past and how I became who I am today. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my gosh. You are one busy body, Miss Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try a little bit. <laughs> and then, okay, so you have your birthday coming up next month. You have a concert event. Yeah, so uh, September 12th, we're, uh, it's my pre birthday bash, and we're going to have Hot 97's DJ Drewski hosting the event. Mm-hmm. And um, I would love for you guys to be part of that. would be amazing. And we're going to have a lot of great lineup of artists performing. Uh, just a little bit here and there. It's going to be really good. It's going to be in the uh, Hall of Fame studios in Queens, New York. And you guys, if you're interested or anybody interested to perform, you guys could contact me or uh, yourself and we could make it happen. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's, let's look. You have so much going on. Let's get everything plugged in because you have Cuban Link at this event as well, right? Yes. Yes. He was in a prior event at the same same location, uh, I think, in July 25th. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, double check. Yeah, July, I think. Uh, and it was a great, great turnout. And uh, he'll be coming back, to, uh, God willing, uh, September 12th for the birthday thing. And, uh, yeah, be, we performed a song, Come With Me. And actually, it's an all-digital platform song. It's on also at the album, the Victory album right here. Uh, mm-hmm. So you guys, you could definitely cop that at all digital platforms. I do have hard copies. If you guys are interested, let me know. And um, yeah, that song is it's out there. The music video is out there as well. You could just type it up, you'll see it. And it's really cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Before you go, um, one question that has been on my mind, like it's so much going on in the music industry. What do you think are the biggest challenges for female artists in the music industry? That's a really good question. Uh, I think, honestly, there. well, now we're kind of getting that respect as back in the days we weren't really kind of getting that acknowledgement, and, mm-hmm. and especially in the team industry. But I think now it's like we're finally claiming that, you know, since Cardi B and Remy Ma and the list goes on, Nicki Minaj and everybody else, mm-hmm. I think it's, it's finally taking a toll that we're now getting the respect and recognition as women that we should have been had many years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, As of today now, I feel we need to continue breaking those barriers down, especially in the male dominated industry Mm -hmm. and continue on 
not being afraid to speak up. I think and not even just not I think you're not even being an artist, not even have to be an artist about that, that'd be being an entrepreneur, being a whatever you want to you know, want to do in this industry, you have to speak up because eventually I've seen it many times in scenarios where women get pushed aside because they felt like if I don't speak up then or if I do speak up, then I'm a problem. No, it's not that. You have a right to to you have an entitlement if you work your tail off and you 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 you, you know what I'm saying? It's basically if you down the line put the effort and the experience you have behind that, and you have every right to have be equal, just like as the man as this industry as well. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love thank it. You, thank I love you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we have to finish this conversation on your social media. How can people connect with you? How can they um, tap in with Ms. Vera G? Sure, definitely. Um, so you guys can follow me on my Instagram, official Vera G. Uh, you can find my website at www music.com You guys can find me on my Facebook page, artist page, of course, Vero G with a little dot. And um, yeah, you guys, you can hit me there. I'm, I'm, I respond right away and take it from there. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank, thank you so much for tapping in with me. It was such a pleasure speaking with you. Same here. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, thank you.